in section three, you're going to need to create a letterhead for the letter that you did in section two. So this video is going to explain some of the basic steps to do that. First thing you're going to want to do, open a new document, control N, or just open up and choose a blank document. And then you're going to want to change the margins. So you click on page layout, margins, and you're going to want a two inch top margin. So you come on down here to the bottom and we're going to change this to two inches, the top margin, and then hit OK. And now you'll see the top margin over here on the left is two inches. To access your header, you double click, and now you're inside your header. Here is where you're going to want to put the information. What do you need? You need to put in the picture. So I insert picture and backslash backslash PPS 0131. Click on my name. Click on the stop, logos. Uh, I'll do one for the bounce house. Obviously, it comes in pretty big. So maybe I'll switch this to 1.5. Hang on a second. 1.5. There we go. And notice I can't move the picture. So I click on this and I change it to one of these in front of text. And now I can move it, position it on my screen, the bounce house. The next thing you're going to want to add are some text boxes. So the easiest way is to go to Shapes, choose the first one, which is Text Box. Here I can draw, and I can type the bounce house. And I can change the, click on the Home tab, change the font size. I can center it. I can make it bold, change the font if I prefer, uh, and there we go. And a couple of other real quick things, just some graphic design. Probably don't want the box around here, so I'm going to click, go to my drawing tools, and I'm going to get rid of the shape outline. So choose no outline, and now you can't see the box outlining your text box. So it'll look like this. I'll obviously want to add another text box for the other information, read your directions, and you'll be able to do that. And then lastly, you may want to insert something such as a rectangle or a line, just to kind of add a little bit of a pizzazz. So I add a line right here, change the color to black, change the weight to three. Maybe I copy the line, hold control, bring it down, change this to red. So it kind of represents the colors over here, and it just kind of makes it a little bit fancier. Do you have to do that? No, but it makes it look better. So that's just some tips on how to do the letterhead. And then in the next section, you're actually going to take the letter and put it onto this letterhead. So good luck.